What's up guys, it's Dark Arm Duels, and today I'm doing an Ashen deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys, because this deck is an amazing deck that we just got out of Phantom Nightmare. I've included all sorts of spicy tech cards in this build for you guys, so without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on there so you can come part of Notification Squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Link in your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Vado's The Eruption Dragon of Extinction. This card is our main boss monster that we actually hand to our opponent, which is super cool as a concept and as the ability during the main phase if this card is in your hand quick effect you can target one card in the field spell zone the special summon this card to your opponent's side of the field and if you destroy that card then you can add to your hand or set an ashen continuous trap from your deck and if this card is sent from your opponent's field to the graveyard you can destroy you destroy all monsters on the field which is a really cool effect to be able to basically just dark hole all the monsters off the field by getting this card into the graveyard which is just an absolutely crazy effect and we actually have cards in the deck well, let's take this card back to our side of the field so we can use it as our boss monster we then play two copies of king of the ashen city king of the ashen city is really cool as a two of in the deck but you really only need two copies copies of him in this build because he is searchable and if you have a copy of a, the ashen city is in the field spell zone you can special summon this card from your hand which all of your ashen monsters share that common effect and during your main phase you can special summon an ashen monster from your hand except another copy of this card or if your opponent controls a monster with 2800 or more attack you can special summon from your deck instead meaning if your opponent controls a copy of vados you get to special summon out a monster from your deck which is super cool we then play two copies of Hero of the Ashen City. This card is really good as a two of in the build, but just like your copy of King, it is searchable, which is why we're just playing two copies. And this card shares the same ability if you have the Ashen City in your field spell zone. You can special summon this card from your hand. And also has the ability during the main phase, quick effect, you can target a pyro monster on the field and destroy it. Then, if you destroyed a copy of Vados by this effect, you can place a copy of the Ashen City from your deck face up in your field spell zone which is great to be able to basically put that card back on the field and pop vados on the field this card is really good as a two of in the deck we then play three copies of priestess of the ashen city this card is great as a three of and this is actually basically the stratos of the deck and it has the ability that if this card is normal or special summon you can add an ashen card from your deck to your hand except another copy of this card which is a great ability just to get to the exact card that you need we then play three copies of aratama aratama is a great normal summon in this deck and actually the way that we play around not playing bonfire in the deck to make it a little bit more budget so you don't have to pick up three copies of bonfire this is actually my replacement for that because we only have a normal summon in the deck of priestess so you can use this card to be able to normal summon out to your side of the field to search out a copy of sakitama sakitama is great in this deck as a two of because you can actually use this card to reveal it in your hand and then you get an additional normal summon of a spirit monster in your hand meaning you're going to summon out this card to your side of the field so basically by normal summoning out your copy of aratama you you can add your copy of Sakitama and then reveal Sakitama to put it on your side of the field to get both of these monsters on the field. And then once you do, you can make a copy of Infernal Flame Banshee to search any pyro monster in the game that you need, which is super cool because it lets you detach your material to take a pyro monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard, which is a different way to be able to play around having bonfire in the deck, which is really cool just because you don't super need it in this deck yet because we only really have one target, which is our copy of Priest this making it so that you can play aratama and sakitama instead as a budget option for you guys so that you can play ashen still but this is a really good engine to be able to play in the deck because it does give you that additional normal summon and plus once you have your ashen city you can just special summon out priestess anyways so you don't even really need it as a normal summon we then play three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom is great as a 3F in the deck just to basically stop your opponent from touching the deck. We then play three copies of Droll and Lockbird. Droll and Lockbird is really good as a 3F just to stop your opponent from searching the deck for the rest of the turn. And it's a great card to be able to play in this build. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get in to the spells.
So for the spells, we're gonna start with a single copy of Terraforming. Terraforming is extremely important in this deck as a one of because we really need to get to our field spell as quickly as possible. We then play a single copy of Called by the Grave. Called by the Grave is great as a one of in the deck just to stop your opponent from hand trapping you while you're going in for all of your plays. We then play three copies of Pot of Prosperity. Pot of Prosperity is great to help us dig into the deck to get the exact cards that we need. We then play three copies of Super Poly. Polymerization. Super Poly is really good as a 3 of just to basically break your opponent's board so that you can start summoning your copy of Vados to their side of the field and then just start going in for game. This card is really good in the deck as a 3 of and just helps out a lot to break your opponent's board. We then play three copies of Awakening of Vados. This card is really cool as a three on the deck, so let you place a copy of the Ashen City from your deck face up in either field spell zone. Then, if your opponent controls a monster on the, in their field spell zone, you can add a level five or higher dark pyro monster from your deck to your hand, meaning a copy of Vados. And for the rest turn, after this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters from the deck or the extra deck except pyro monsters, which is totally fine. This card is great as a three of in the build and it's amazing to be able to grab your copy of Vados and get your copy of the Ashen City which is just absolutely amazing. We then play three copies of Obsidium. Obsidium is definitely a three of in the build because this card is our main card we want to be able to get on our side of the field. The Ashen City is just so important. It's a face of special summon monsters that your opponent controls becomes Pyrotype, which can really mess up your opponent's effects during your turn only. And you can only use each of the following effects this card once per turn. Then it has the ability during your end phase, you can actually target an Obsidium, the Ashen City in your graveyard and place it on on the bottom of the deck, then draw a card. And this card in the field zone is destroyed or banished. You can special summon an Ashen monster from your deck, which is a great ability because your copy of Vados is going to be popping this card, which is really good because you cycle through this card over and over again, where your copy of Vados is constantly popping this card to be able to get that effect to go off, which is really nice. So that's it for the spell cards, guys. Let's get in to the traps. So for the traps, we're gonna be playing two copies of Ashened for Eternity. This card is super cool as a two of in the deck. And it's a really good card to be able to put on your side of the field with your copy of Vados. Cause when this card is activated, you can add a copy of Vados or a copy of an Ashen monster from your graveyard to your hand. You can also target a face up monster that your opponent controls that you own, meaning your copy of Vados and take control of that monster. Then you can make all face up monsters that your opponent currently control lose attack equal to the targeted monster's original attack, which is 2,800 if you're targeting your copy of Vados. And this attack change lasts until the end of this turn, which is a really cool ability for this card to have. And I love the lore behind this card that basically Konami came out and was like, hey, Vados came out of the volcano and destroyed the Ashen City and basically was so powerful that he turned them into ghosts in the Ashen City and they're fighting for eternity, which is why this card is actually called Ashen for Eternity, which is so cool. I love the lore of this deck. It's such a cool deck and I can't wait for wave two of the support. We then play three copies copies of Infinite Impermanence. Impermanence is great as a three of in the build just to stop your opponent's monster effects and lock down entire columns of spells and traps. This card helps out a lot in the build. So that's it for the main deck guys. Let's get in to the extra deck. So for the extra deck, guys, we're going to start with a single copy of Infernal Flame Banshee. This card is a really good alternative to Bonfire with the spirit package that we're playing in the deck. You can play any package that you want to in the deck that gives you two level fours on your side of the field to be able to make this card because it is generic. And this card is the ability that you can actually detach a material from this card to take a pyro monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Meaning you can grab anything that you want instead of just a level four lower pyro monster, making this card a better bonfire in this deck because we don't have a lot of low level uh, pyro monsters in this build outside of our copy of priestess right now so for wave one of support this is the better option in my opinion but this card is really good because it can help you get to any of your ashen monsters that you need which is just really really cool we can play a single copy of time thief redoer since we're constantly dark holing the field this card helps out a lot in the deck to be able to just run away from the field and then come back later once your copy of vados is done being angry and destroying the field but this card also just is a great boss monster to play in the deck. 
We then play a single copy of Baguska. Baguska is great in the deck to be able to play just in case you need to slow down the game. And this card is really nice in the build. We then play a single copy of Abyss Dweller just in case you need to lock down the graveyard. One copy of Double A Zeus. Double A Zeus is great in this build to be able to board wipe the field in case your Vados wasn't enough. We then play a single copy of Double or a uh, copy of Typhon. Typhon's great to go along with our copy of our Zeus because this card helps out a lot overall in the deck because it's very easy to make. It's an overall just a fantastic card. We then play a single copy of Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, a copy of Dragos Topalia, a single copy of Garua, and a copy of Mud Dragon. These are all Super Poly targets that we're playing in the build. They help out a lot in the deck because they go along with our copy of Super Poly to be able to break your opponent's board just in case something can't be destroyed by card effects. You use these cards to be able to break your opponent's board and they're really good in the deck. We can play a single copy of Access Code. Access Code's really cool in the deck as a one of because it helps out a lot in the deck overall to be able to pop multiple cards on the field and give us a big boss monster on the field. We play a single copy of Selene. Selene's just a good option to be able to play in the deck because your copy of Droll and Lockbird is a spellcaster, so you can use it with that, which is really nice to help you link climb. We can play a single copy of the Dark Charmer. Dark Charmer is just really good in the deck overall because we are playing Dark Pyro Monsters, which is super cool. But this card is a really good one of in the build. We can play a single copy of SP Little Knight. You don't have to play this card if you want to play a budget build. You can change it out for Nightmare Unicorn if you want to change it out for a more budget option than SP Little Knight, but it is a double interruption, which is really nice to be able to do. And then finally, play a single copy of IP Mascarena. IP is so you can make SP, or if you decide to play Unicorn, you can play Nightmare Unicorn instead of the SP if you want a more budget play, but it's just so we can make either of those options during the opponent's turn. So... That's it for the deck, guys. I hope you enjoy it. This deck is wild. I love the artwork. I can't wait for Wave 2. I hope that they make this deck crazy powerful. It's already really good. Like, it's a really fun deck, and I love what they've started with with this deck. But I can't wait to see what they do with it next, because it's just so cool. I love this deck. The artwork is so cool, and I love the lore behind it. That Vados is constantly destroying the copy, or basically the Ashen City, and they're having to fight Vados forever, which is so, like, metal. I love it. So... That's going to do with this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell there so you can become part of the notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.